lado por Aguilar, la adelanta le va a pegar. ¡Uy, golazo! ¡Golazo! ¡Le gato, ya le cuento! ¡Sacó el remate, golazo! ¡Gol! Welcome to the 2016 Powder Puff football game here on Patino Vision Deportes Network. My name is Miguel Patino and I'll be your commentary today. The seniors are going up against the juniors to attempt to get a victory before they leave. I know this is going to be a long video so if you want to know which minute the touchdowns are on, then make sure to check out the description or if there's a certain event you want to see, then just ask me and I'll tell you uh, at what minute it is on. And it's a good thing they made the game at 7 because it begins to get a lot cooler later on in the day and earlier it was at like 103 degrees so I don't think that the heat will be a huge factor in the game uh, it will definitely be an interesting game considering the fact that the seniors are favorites due to the fact that this is their final time together as seniors but the juniors have multiple athletic players many who have just gone out of the sport but obviously the seniors are the favorites but I hope it will be a good game So here we go, first opening ceremony, which includes the showing of the colors and then the national anthem. And after that, I believe uh, the game will begin. So here we go. That was the national anthem sang by Wesley Richardson and now the game will start shortly here on Patinovision Deportes Network. Once again, good evening and welcome to tonight's game between the class of 2017 and the class of 2016. We are going to have four 15-minute quarters with a 30-minute half. And before we get started, I'd like to do some brief introductions of not only our players, but also our advisors and our cheerleaders slash spirit men. And the seniors will start off with the ball and the juniors will be on the defense. And we'll see if the seniors can get off to a good start.
Here we go. The ball is given to Hannah Farhat, who's going to run through the right side. Can she go far? And she stopped at the 30-yard line. The Sears are off to a great start right now here in part of 2016. And we'll see in the replay uh, how the play happened. And yeah. So here we go. The senior started off with the ball here. She does some hand motions here. Don't know what they mean, but it doesn't matter because she gives the ball to Hannah Farhat. And all she has to do is run right through the right side. She, she dodges two defenders. And she's finally stopped right there at the around the 30-yard line. Uh, and yeah, it's a great run by the seniors. And the seniors are closer to the end zone and we'll see what they'll do in this play. Here we go. The quarter pack drops the ball, but Hannah Farhat picks it up and she's going to run through the left side and her flag gets taken away before she can make it to the 10-yard line. It was close and it looked like a good run, but the junior defense showed up right there. And nevertheless, it was a great effort by Farhat and we'll have to see what happened in the, in the replay. We see how the quarterback drops the ball, but Farhat picks it up and uses her speed to get through all those defenders, but right there is when her flag got taken away. But like I said, it was a great effort and she's just been terrorizing these junior defenders. And the seniors are close to achieving the 10 yard line. Here we go. They're going to go through the left side. And did she get her flag taken away? No, she crossed the 10 yard line. And it's going to be another first down for the seniors. So now they're even closer to the end zone. So what will they do this time? Left or right, we'll have to see. Here we go. She's gonna go to the right side. Here comes Angela out of nowhere. And she stops the play. Great defensive work by Angela Bueno, number 10 for the juniors. We'll have to see that play again. The seniors decided to go through the right side. They've been through the left side like two or three times. We see the play here. She attempts to go through the right side, but here comes Angela just out of nowhere. Gets her flag and doesn't allow her to continue. Great stop by Angela Bueno. The seniors are gonna have to try again. So this is the last play for the seniors. Can they score a touchdown now? We'll have to see. Here's Ashley Kurtz. Ooh, she crashed into the other player. The ball is on the ground. Everyone dives in. And that's a huge mistake by the seniors. The ball is going to get turned over to the juniors. And the seniors will now be on the defense. Juniors will be going for a touchdown now. We'll have to see what happened in the replay. We see the ball get handed to Ashley Kurtz, who ends up crashing into her own player. And then after that, the ball went to the ground and everyone's first reaction is to just dive on that ball. We see everyone trying to dive for it. And yeah, it's a huge mistake by the seniors. Let's go defense, let's go. 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 So here comes the first offensive play by the juniors. Here comes the throw. Intercepted! Very, very unlucky for the juniors here. This was barely their first offensive play of the game. And their ball gets intercepted by the seniors. It was a great interception by the class of 2016 who were there at the right moment at the right time. And now the ball will be for the seniors. So now the seniors will have another opportunity to go for the touchdown. So here we go. The seniors with the ball. Here's the handoff. She's going to try to go to the left side. 
can she make it far? And it looks like she made it past the 10 yard line, but there's a flag on the play according to the referee. And there's a chance that the ball may go back a few yards. We'll have to see what the referees do. The referee picks up the ball and it's gonna go back a few yards. I'm not sure what happened, but the referee says the ball is going back a few yards. So now the seniors have to start a little further from the end zone. Can they get close again? So let's see what the seniors will do to try to get closer to the end zone again. That penalty made them go back farther. Let's see, will it be another run? And she's going to the right side and her flag got taken away. It looked like a good run. And the seniors are gonna have to try again. Here comes the seniors. She's gonna go for the throw. It's a good catch, but she doesn't make it very far. But was it enough for the first down? I have no idea. Here's another opportunity for the seniors. Here's the handoff. She's going to the left side. Can they stop her? And she stopped. It looked like a good run once again. Seniors trying to get closer to the end zone. They want a touchdown. They want to get on the scoreboard. They want to leave high school with a victory today. But we'll have to see if the juniors can stop them. Here's the play. Here's the throw by the seniors. It's caught. But I'm not sure if it's a first down or not. Seniors are extremely close to the end zone. Can they get a touchdown here? She's gonna go for it. Is it a touchdown? Everyone's screaming and cheering. What does the referee say? I don't think it was a touchdown, but she came extremely close. No sign from the referee. But what we can see is an injured player. But the seniors came extremely close to scoring their first touchdown of the day. Can they do it in the next play? We'll have to see. And we'll see what happened in that replay. Why did someone get injured there? Here we go, here's the play. And she barely missed the end zone right there. Uh, and it looks like someone got stepped on or something, I don't know. Another great chance for the seniors to get a touchdown here. Will they do it? Something happens. Referee stopped the play. But here we go again. Here's another chance. And it's... Is it a touchdown? Referee says no. Her flag got taken away right before she entered the end zone. Great defending by the juniors. So far they've been holding back these seniors who are 
inches away from scoring a touchdown. But they're still going to have another chance to go for it. Here we go. Through the left side, unmarked. Touchdown, seniors. After multiple opportunities to get a touchdown, the seniors finally did it. They are now on the scoreboard. It's 6 0 in the first quarter. And we saw how she just went in there without any trouble. No one on her. Absolutely free. 6 0 seniors. Here's the juniors. They're going to try to go for a touchdown here. Here we go. Here's the throw. Intercepted. And the seniors have intercepted the ball once again. And the juniors are having a horrible day here. This is the second interception of the day. They're once again on the defense, seniors on the offense. And we're gonna see the replay right now to see what happened in that play. Here's where it started. Here's the quarterback with the throw. And then number 29, Samantha Fezzi intercepts the ball. And now it's a turnover. The seniors will go on the offense. The seniors are on the offense after that interception. Here we go. Here's the handoff. She's going to go through the middle. She's still going. Her flag hasn't gone. Taken away. Look at this blistering pace. And she's still through. She hasn't gone. Her flag taken away. It's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown, seniors. The seniors once again have scored. It's 12-0. And in the background, we can see a player from the juniors complaining to the referee. She saw something that we didn't. And we're gonna look at that replay because it looked like her flag did not get taken away. Let's see. Here's the play. The ball gets handed off. She runs through the middle of the crowd. She gets through somehow. Her flag is still on her right there. And right here, she seemed to slow down because she probably thought that her flag got taken away. But when she realized that it didn't, all she, she had to do was just run to the touchdown zone and, and score. So there you go, 12-0, seniors. And the seniors will go for the two points here. Here's the throw. Will it get intercepted? No! Touchdown, seniors! 14-0. The seniors are absolutely dominating this game. It looked like they were about to get intercepted, but they couldn't get to the ball, and the seniors caught it in the end zone. They got their two points. It's now 14-0. Here we go in the replay. Here's the... Here's the catch in the end zone. It looked like it was going to get intercepted, but she couldn't jump high enough, and well, it's a great catch. 14-0, seniors. So here comes the juniors. They're going to try to turn this around. Here's the run. She's going to try to do this all on her own. She's going to make it far. Her flag is still on her, and she's been stopped. It was a great run. This is what the juniors need to do if they want to get back into this game. A great run by the juniors. Can they keep doing this and try to get a touchdown? We'll have to see. The ball is in the air. Incomplete pass. And a timeout has been called. And let's see what the Spirit Boys are up to. And a timeout called by the juniors.
last play of the first half and that ball was just thrown to the moon way too far and that's it for the first half it's time for the halftime show with the Spirit Boys and we'll be back for the second half
Ah, uh, kick back seniors. Ripping up the year 2017. Ah, uh, but it's all good though. We're all friends here. And here we go, the second half of the 2016 Powder Puff game. Here's the juniors. Here's the throw. Great catch by Kelsey Sherman. Here she goes on the run. Can she make it far? And she stopped right there. It's a great run. It was a great throw. They finally do not get intercepted. And the juniors are starting to get close to the touchdown zone. Here we go. We see... The play here, we see the long throw. They've been getting intercepted for the past few minutes, but luckily Kelsey Sherman was there to was there to catch it. And now the juniors are closer to the end zone. The juniors are still on the offensive. Let's go. She lets go of the ball here. She throws it to Michaela. Here goes Michaela McNary. Oh, look at this agility. Oh, that looked like some great agility right there. We know how good she is in soccer. And she's showing off her skill in football as well. And the juniors will still have possession of the ball. And she gains about seven, eight yards on the play. The ball is on the 33 yard line. And apparently a penalty has been caught against the juniors. They'll have to go back five yards but they're definitely starting to put in some effort into this game and hopefully they can make a comeback here. And we'll have to see what they'll do in this play. Here we go. Here's the long throw and it's a perfect catch. Can they make it far from here? And it was a massively important catch there. They've gone extremely close to the end zone. We'll have to see the replay. Here's the play. She goes for a long throw and it's just a perfect catch. The juniors now have a first down and they're even closer to the end zone. Here's the juniors once again. Here's the play. Here's the handoff. She's going to go through the middle. Oh, she's going to make it far. Look at this blistering pace. Oh, and her flag got taken away right before she was able to make it any further to the end zone. But it was a great run. This is what the juniors need to keep doing. The juniors are still trying to get a touchdown here. Can they do it? What is she going to do? She's going to do the same thing. Look how fast she runs. Oh, but she got stopped once again. Very quick. Very, very quick. And once again, if the juniors keep doing this, they may have a chance at getting back into this game. But we'll have to see if they keep doing this. Here's the seniors on the offensive. Here's the play. Here's the handoff. They're going to go through the right side. Here's Katrina Taylor with the stop. She was running really fast, but Katrina was able to get to her. The seniors are going to have to try again, but it looked like it was a great run. The seniors are still winning 14-0. Can they add to their score? Here's the play. What did they do there? But she's going through the middle. Can she make it through all those players? And she's brought down literally at the 40 yard line. It looked like it was going to be a great run. But the junior defense just got all over her. And we see the fans doing the wave here. And it's a great thing to see here at Part of Puff 2016. And that's the end of the third quarter. We're getting even closer to the end of the game. The seniors are still winning 14-0.
the juniors still looking for points. Still 14-0. It's the fourth quarter. Here's the play. Here's the throw. It's a great catch. And she stopped. It was a great catch. They're getting closer to the end zone. Hopefully they get down to the board so they don't leave this game without scoring. The juniors are getting closer to scoring a touchdown here. Can they do it? Here we go. Here's the throw. And the catch. It's a great catch. She's taken down. And she takes out a player with her. Oh, and watch out. Here's some aggression between two players. We'll have to see what happened in that replay. There's a flag on the play. Probably because of this aggression between those two players. Here's the replay. It was a great catch, though. As we can see here, the quarterback gets the ball. She throws it. Another fantastic catch by the juniors. And then here she gets grabbed from behind and then just gets dropped to the ground. And she takes out a player with her. And that's probably what caused the aggression between those two players. Uh, the senior player knocks out the ball and then they start pushing each other. Um, but yeah, it's all part of the game. And the juniors are currently going through their best moment of the game. They're definitely not far from getting a touchdown right now. We'll see if they could do it. Here's the play. Here's the throw. Intercepted. And here's Jenny Rivera. She's going to take it extremely far. Look how fast she runs. And she's still going. And they, but I think they finally got her flag. Another. Another one. Once again, the juniors get intercepted. That's the third interception of the game. Not looking good for the juniors here. And the seniors are now going to have a chance at going on to the offense. And here's the replay. The play starts off like that. And then the long throw that goes into the hands of Jenny Rivera. It's a great interception. And all she has to do is run which is one of her best virtues, is her speed. And she's able to outrun all those players eventually. Her flag gets taken away. It was a great run. Here's the seniors on the attack. And here we see the Spirit Boys chanting RHS. Here's the long throw. It's a great catch. Is she going to make it far? And she falls over. It was a great catch though. Not sure if she made it to the 10 yard line. Nevertheless, it was a great effort by the seniors. And apparently the ball got turned over to the juniors. Here's the juniors. They're going to go for it. Here's the long throw. And it's a catch. Oh, she's going to take it all the way. Can she score for the juniors? It looks like it's going to be finally a touchdown for the juniors. Touchdown, juniors! The juniors are finally on the scoreboard after a long, long time without scoring. They're finally going to leave this game with points. Whether it's enough time to make a comeback in the game, I have no idea. But we'll see what they'll do. And we see how they celebrate. I can see why. They've been suffering this whole game. We're going to see the replay here. The ball got turned over for the juniors. Have no idea why, but it doesn't matter because we see how the quarterback throws it all the way to the receptant and she takes it absolutely all the way and she's able to score for the juniors. It is now 14-6 in the fourth quarter. The juniors are now on the scoreboard. The game is nearly over. The seniors are still attacking. Here we go. Hannah Farhat showing her speed and agility. Is she going to make it far? Is she going to make it to the end zone? And she stopped. But once again, Hannah Farhat showing off her speed and agility. Absolutely destroying the defense of the juniors. Awesome. 
Everyone on the sidelines saying it's over. They want it to end. Is there any time left? Ladies and gentlemen, your 2016 Part of Puff champions are the seniors. The class of 2016 will leave high school with a victory. The seniors have taken the W and I'm afraid the juniors, my class, have taken the L. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I hope I did a great job on commentating. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mike101. And until next time, have a very nice day. Bye-bye.